I know I'm a little bit overweight. Don't care. Hello everybody, welcome back to Russian Fishing 4, and I, got, I am so sorry, let me say first, that I didn't record, I was just doing another sesh before bed, and I caught me a freaking monster. And we're gonna freaking taxidermize it, just like in freaking the hunter call of the wild, just check out my videos if you haven't. I am starting to make them again. I just took a week off from the rest of my videos because we got new waters to fish at Russian Fishing 4, and I am freaking loving it. Yama comes down. All right, taxiderma shop, for those that don't know. It's that one right across the bridge all the way down past your house. And let's do this. I kind of already dry run it. So I believe I want that one. And let me show you the fish. Nine hundred and thirty three silver. We're doing it. And I have to say that fish was worth, I think, three hundred and eighteen. So that cost me a pretty penny. All right, now let's see. I don't know how to do the rest. And then we're heading to Yama to do some fishing. I learned a little more on lures. and I am just fishing like a freaking boss. Nope, those are for awards. There we go. Everything looks good here. I'll see you guys at Yama. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, the mighty Yama River. And I am loving fishing here. I'm not going to say it's my favorite, but... They're all my favorite. It just depends what kind of fishing you want to do. If you don't want to catch fish, you go to Balaya. And I have to say the greatest part of this map is there's no breams on it. That means a lot to me. I wish. I got fishing to do. And I had just picked a spot, I believe it was right here. So the spot is 188201. And you seen it's just past just down in the middle of this three and a half or three point five meter water. And I've got a char loach live bait on here. I know I'm a little bit overweight. Don't care. Just trying to get out there in the deepest part. I got a fish on there already. Look at that. How freaking crazy the live bait hit is nuts. So that thing didn't even hit the ground and it had a fish on it. And I'm using these char loaches. I got the lampreys too, but I think these were just as good. And I know where to catch these. And I was going to do a two part series about live bait fishing for bait and then live bait fishing. So this will play into it. Watch for that over the next few weeks. I want to do some at Mosquito or something on my lower account. I've did tons up here at these high lakes. Not everybody can fish here. And I still love fishing on that account. But I had been fishing on a ton, so. What do we get there? I should chun salmon. 2.066. And I got a grasshopper on here. Experiment. We're down.
I'll go through these rigs as soon as we get Don't you dare fall off there. Don't you dare fish. Oh, you can't mess with the Ryakaka. This ride can horse some fish for me. And I did juggle my equipment around, so I got my spinner fixed about as good as I can. I got a gold on it. So we're at a much better. I mean, I can go bigger with my other one, but it just doesn't have the touch that this Belmore does. It just feels like a much better caster. It's amazing how this game can give you that feeling. I bought that other one to cast with too, but it's just it's quality dry too. 2.215 chum salmon. I'm gonna get you a beer going, bad. We'll keep you buzzed all frickin' day. Who go with? Go with a. Ah. Uh, I mean, the grasshoppers mostly, so I don't have to mess with that rod all day. And to see. See what we get on it. Ah, uh, we got something on it. Did it fall off? Nope. Well, that's not a bad fish either. Grasshopper. And that's a non-premium bait, I believe. So, I think I haven't bought them in ages. I bought a bunch. I think you just were hard to find sometimes. It's one of those baits you thought was going to be fantastic, and then I hardly ever use it. So, let's catch some freaking fish, people. Dolly Varden. I mean, that's some hot fishing. And I caught it right here. I was bringing my lure in. It swung down. was bringing it in. And it hit just on the other side of that rock right there. My big pinky. It was freaking crazy. Because you do not get a lot of late hits here. So it was surprising when I was pegged out red. Coho salmon. For me, I'm giving it about a 90 percenter. I don't have any. The hole here is super wide, so just get it out there a good bit. There's a fish on there already. My word. We're going to be out of bait quick. I got seven of these, and I got a few lampreys left. Me and Ray split up a bunch. And there is a lot of people here doing it, obviously. The freaking bait's almost, live bait's almost sold out. You gotta buy it 50 at a time. So this will be a shorter one. I just wanna make some good catches and make another video. And then I'm gonna make a lot of money back. Another little coho. All right, let's change it. Let's try lamprey. And the lures I've been using, let's go through that real quick. I did have some good luck with these big dragonfly bells for people that are low on money. Nobody's going to be lower. Hunter 2 I did good. I only got the one color. <coughs> the Volkov Type 3s are good. These Slim Shots aren't quite as good, but their quality is a little lower. But the Satori's is what I've been using. I'm sure Hunter number ones and stuff. 22 gram Satori. That's what I got the big pinky on. So if I stand by my rods and fish about there, I'm returning at about 20. And just some long pauses. Something big get it. That looks like a better one. No. Looks like another chumster. 
So, I mean, the bait fishing here is fantastic, but, I mean, I'm not going to do it all the time. And for your feeders here, another tip. I've noticed you want to tap them a lot. I'm not sure what it does, but it seems to help your bite rate a lot. In real life, now that would jar the minnow or whatever loose, so it would have to start swimming around, you know, if it was tucked under a rock or something. You want it out there struggling so the fish can see it. It's kind of sad, but true. Well, there's a better one, a flag at least. I have not. Let's run with my hunter. It's just how it is here. It's slow here until it isn't, and then you get smashed. For me, this is real nice, just like that thing that they did for Mosquito, the, you know, that festival for Christmas got me back into TL fishing. This place has brought Spoon back to me. I hardly ever use spoons. Everybody knows I love my spinners. There's a fish. But they just don't seem as effective as here. That's why I bought those big bells, because they had more weight, and I did. I just went and took one throw of it, see how it ran, and I got freaking smashed. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? That's a little coho? Yeah. There's a better fish. I mean, you have to be really patient here. Kind of do weird actions, really unorthodox. I'll show you how I find it best so I don't just sit there looking at the line and get just freaking silly about it. Let me get there. Can't tell. Ooh, woo! 10k for that. Nice go hole. If I sit where I can see my rod tips, this might help somebody actually. And just like that, and then I look at my, whoa fish, look at my rod tips and don't pay attention to so much to my spinning gear and just do my thing, I seem to do better retrieves, to tell you the truth, than when I'm so focused on my spinning rod that I'm freaking cramping up. Ooh, ooh, it's ready, red, red. Sockeye. If you ever get any time, I will... Yeah, it's 1,600, so I don't want to do it now for sure. I will give you a rundown of the map so far. I've fished most all of the holes multiple times now. And they're all good. But you get a lot more of the schnook and coho over here on this side. Fish. I'll try to leave some stretches of my retrieve in. Because it's so hard to explain to people what I'm doing. Ooh, another one. That would be great. Sock eyes just started pouring onto my hooks. Keep. Alright, first let's tap these. So I'm here. There's a cross. You don't want to go up. You'll just have a weird thing going on. There's too much slack in your line. As far as I can go. I'm usually trying to do it, and then you sometimes you just let it sink, and then boom. You just want to reel that freaking slack out of there. You never want slack in your line fishing, because you can't tell what's going on. 
I hope I don't sound like an idiot. I'm just assuming that a lot of people didn't grow up fishing like I did. Another little sockeye? Yep. I mean, that's 4K for that. And then not unhappy or anything. What we need to do is have that beer now. Get a little extra pop from these fish. Oh, that pink salmon was 541,000 XP. I don't think I'll ever beat the XP on that. But you could. You snapped off a freaking blue trophy something on a UL on happy hour. You could try to beat it. I am not even sure if that was happy hour. It was really close to ending if it was. I was so happy. I couldn't. I couldn't deal. It's just a chum. Oh, you know what? I got another little thing I can add on. Again, it might be stupid, but at the end of the video. So those home cooks like me, it's a great little deal. So you get all that out, just let it sink. I mean, it don't happen all the time, but when they're doing it, let them do it. And then I tie, almost like you're doing a really bad jig step a couple times around, different lengths, boop. I'll even hit the super return a little bit and eh, just kind of see how that line's nice and straight so you'll feel that fish or see a ton of slack come in your line here you normally they're just pulling one of them there's a fish bang I'm telling you that weird English a nice fish cranking down on you fish I got the power now because one thing about these salmon that it doesn't really say one of the ones I read is they're not striking out of because they're hungry they're on their way to death they're only spawning they don't eat anymore they strike only out of anger so what you want to do is just terrify them with my lure but they're protecting the females. They're protecting where their reds are, their little nests they build. Look at that. Look at that. Babe, you on them. You like freaking painting. What do we get? Just a chum. Nice one, though. 3.51. It's a grasshopper. I mean, here you almost don't want too much on your feeders. At least during the day. And it's great burbot fishing here for people that haven't been here. We'll do that. We'll get in there with Nightcrawler tonight. And I'll probably change it right now. What did we get? Was that one of them white spotted chars? Nope. Dolly Vardens. So Dolly Vardens are liking the grasshoppers. Let's change this out though. I got a 16. Let's go. Size 5. Night crawler. And these West Hill frame sinkers do work, but I am definitely going to buy some more of the. These sinkers. I am going to all good sinkers. Uh, if anybody's like me that just never really cared about their sinkers, just think about it. If you add a good sinker, you're adding three or four stars to your total rig in quality. That's got to mean something. And I can say for one of the first times since I've had this Rakasha, because I use such big heavy leaders, 
it will outfish the other stuff with that good sinker. So, what I'm saying comes from scientific experiments. But most people probably already know that. I'm just super cheap. Let's do our curly Q. Speed run. Let it sit. Pop. 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 I mean, I don't know that it has anything to do with it changing the directions like that, but it sure makes it a lot funner for me, and I'm catching a lot of fish. Come on, fish. Stuck on the bottom. Trying to get all buffed up on me. Come on. Oh, is that a pink salmon? Speak of the devil. What a beauty that is. Man, you can catch the pinkies, Baff. Crowd. Yep, something on that crawler. So there is crawler fishing here, mostly at night. I don't have very good luck with it during the day, so that's why I tried the grasshopper. And I hadn't caught any out on grasshopper yesterday, but I had a massive hit. I was sitting here like I do, so I can see them, and my eyes about fell out of my head. Yep, we're about. It's tiny. Usually get about four of them a night and a couple of real beauties. Oh, there's no bait fish on there. So that's why nothing was biting there. And I got to do some spinning. There's a fish. Another chim. Ooh, nice one, though. All right. Light on. All right. So the Percy I got set up for at night with a size 12 adamant and a crawler. I'm going to try a little smaller hook. See what happens. There we go. Take her down, fish. think the thing but what is that oh that's sucker I think nice log no sucker so smaller hook it says size 12 Adam in here it's not my normal five or two or whatever I use for bird bot fishing but I use pretty big hooks twos or fours generally oh number two hook is Beautiful thing to look at, let me tell you. That's what I used for catfishing and stuff around here when I was younger. It's just big enough where you can really mess yourself up with it. something kind of new. I haven't really got many suckers over here. Ray got a couple really nice ones here yesterday. 
I was on freaking cloud nine, so I didn't even ask him, but I was meant to. It's a little bit of that. Not a flag. All right, I am just re are re tossing this because I had so little action. And you can get some fish on these dead ones. I don't want to talk about it, but you will get fish on them. It's not a lot. I haven't tried them here yet. I think they'd be better for more burbots, catfish, stuff like that. I one time had a catfish on with a 9 inch sucker as a bait. That snapped me off eventually. It was freaking massive. What I did is I bought it, that sucker, and I thought I was going to not ever catch anything on it. So, of course, you put it on the worst rod and reel you have. And that thing got freaking gobbled right up. Big old flathead or something. Go we got channel catfish, that's the big one. We've got flathead catfish and blue catfish in Michigan. Bullheads. Oh, what else did I get? I got some skill. I've made so much progress in the game the last few days. I am just pumped. And let's dig it, Vav. Let's show them what we can do. Nope, that's not it. We'll have to wait. Just take it down. There you go. You better now, fish. It's a burr bot. I won't be lucky if it's a flag, though. It looks not like one. No, close. got a fish. Oh, this should be a nice fish. <coughs> Not that high, Bev. Yeah, because this rod's got some oomph on it, so this should be a good, good fish. Doesn't really seem like it's a burbot. Doing a lot of action for a burbot. Just a chum, it looks like, but that should be a fairly nice one. 4.125? Not bad. going to be an alright fish. That seems more like burba. You want to be out there goodly ways though. If you're not getting bites, go a little harder. On my rods, like that Rakat, I gotta learn that name, Rizanka. That's a full 100. And that's a good casting rod. This is a really good casting rod too. And I go about the same. 80, 90, 100.
Now that Percy doesn't cast quite as good. 1.5? That's it? My word, that's not even a fish anymore. Just kidding. I love you, Burbot. Oh, it's so nice. We got no breams in sight. See, it's getting out there. I bet you that's 3540. You're looking at the clip. At least 30. Catch another fish? Oh, ho, ho, here it goes. Got five loaches left. It's going to be a long episode, but I hope you all enjoy it. I tried to remember as much as I could. Just get out there and fish, people. Nobody catches fish all day long every day. It's frustrating, I know, but you know what? Relax. Enjoy the weather. Unless it's raining. And I have not fished windy yet. I went and did a look around and put my lines in and I just wanted to come here and fish. So I said, you know what? I'm a free man and I came here and fished. But you could tell they definitely just put a lot of love into the map to, to not change it. Which I thought was cool. You could tell they came. The only thing we didn't get, I think, is the down tree on the one side. I never fished over there anyways. People always said it was great casting, but whatever. Whatever. Man down, man down. 1.3. We haven't got that real big bird bot you usually get. You usually get a 3 or 4 kg here. I don't know about here and the rest of the spots. We'll have to save the map, I think, till the end. They're not going to let me do any of that stuff. Going off, fish. Going off. Late, er, late night, early morning, burbot bite. I see, we forgot to put that grasshopper back on here. Slow down the bite. Oh man, I'm down. Alright, fair enough. Bait. Grasshopper. Cricket be worth a try too. Yep, we'll use up this live bait. We're at 30 fish already, so this is pretty darn good numbers. We're not even an hour fishing probably. Oh, chum. Nothing wrong with that. Fish. A nice fish. What are you, fish? Another chum. I had to do it once. 
All right, we're at 31 fish, so one more fish. So this is it, if this is our last bait. If not, we'll fish till our last bait's gone. Next, I'm gonna come out here to find some baits that work, no non-gold baits. I just, you know, I wanted to have the fun, some fun. And I'll definitely do it again, but. I can say night crawlers at night. Get them in there at night. Limited success with that grasshopper. But I mean, if you're getting anything to pay on your feeders, at night, you got your bear bite fishing, so throw your night crawlers on their fish. I haven't tried, but you know what? It probably works. I've had fair luck with just worm fishing. In some spots, you get the char loaches, then you can make lag bait. You just, you gotta do more work if you're not paying. That's just how it is in life. Alright, let's hang you up. Yep, that was it. Buzz bait. Mm, I wonder, do they have buzz baits? Oh, man. We gotta get into the top water next. Come up here to the smoke box. Smoked salmon. And, well, wait, let's get some. 2 to 10 kgs. So I'm going to do a couple of them. 2.1. Yep. I got two just over. And let's make some smoked salmon. And that had four portions in it. And I got two cooking. Oh my god. And I have another one here. I'd probably cook them all if I wasn't that unhappy. Four portions. I've got them up to like 10. That might go by weight. And I did not did anything that big. But there you go. Another way. For, and then that's real good food. So you don't need a ton of those. Because I usually catch my food before I get low. All right. Let's try the cafe. Four 1.8ers? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's $83. 1.8. So you, you, you. We still got all our good ones. 83. Still not caught one of those. Oh, my word. Are those cool looking? Burbot, 1, 1. 1.2. Oh. Oh, we have a plethora of those tiny ones. 21 bucks, though, for that. And we didn't get any little stuff. So I don't know how much flop already we made. By price. All right, roll it, Bav. 2.415 pink salmon, 63.12. coho, 18.13. 4.125 chum, 10.84. 587 sucker 988 those are worth targeting I just wanted to do this 3.666 chum 964 3.51 chum 923 3.078 chum 809 1.67 burbot 618 1 5 burbot 560 493 and then we got a few of these these got to be just flag cohos 903 to 474 and 843 to 443. $961 bar. And we had. Too bad we didn't get any sap. We got three sap. So that's good. See what I mean? Four, five, six, seven burbots. And what was I looking at? Oh, we were about 50% flag rate. That's not bad. For 161, so we were well over 200. 240. 50? Something like that. I needed it. 
All right, everybody. I'm sorry I tortured you and made you listen to me babble so much, but yeah, I'm just so having so much fun. It's awesome. And like I say, it kind of fills a niche for me. I get sick of trolling fast, but that's where you get your XPs when you're high level. You know, I love gibble fishing, but when you want to start progressing, you got to start catching these. And now I've got a place just to come, kind of an expedition place. Is it going to start? All right, everybody, please like, share, and uh, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment how you're doing, what you're doing, you know, whatever. And have a good one. I'll see you soon. All right, you're going to have to tweak on the willy jigger again. See everybody. Oh, see, there you go.